You're such a good boy. Yes, you are, Brian. You're a good boy. Yeah. Sit there with Mommy. Hi, everyone. Oh, my goodness. You know, I was uh, still thinking about the free camping and some of the pros and cons of trying to find a spot as to where to look. And also, you know, like GPS. Oh my God, GPS. It has gotten me lost several times. Um, what I normally do is I use my Garmin GPS and I also use my phone. <laughs> and sometimes uh, uh, they'll say, well, in a quarter of a mile, turn left on such and such a road. And the other one will say, turn right. And I'm like, which way do I go? Do I go left or do I go right? What a heck of a decision. So normally I stop, pull out my atlas, look to see approximately where I'm at, look at the highway and see where I'm going. And then I make my decision as whether I go left or I go right. It, it and and sometimes one is right and the other one another time the other one is right so what the heck you know that's why I always carry an atlas because an atlas is going to show you if you have any doubts take it out look to see where you're going find the highway go from that point on don't depend on technology because sometimes technology can get you lost. It has me several times. So anyhow, um, and, and also when it comes to free camping and, and locating one, well, you know, I always say before you decide to do the nomadic lifestyle, to do research, research, research. And this also goes as far as finding free camping. Because it's not always what it appears to be. Some websites will tell you one thing and another website will tell you another thing. Oops, excuse me a minute. I gotta move my leg, thank you. So it, it's very difficult to rely totally on technology. One has to use their own head, their own brain, get the atlas. Like if I'm going to go to a um, national forest or a wildlife, uh, not refuge, a wildlife uh, management area. Any place that there's a phone that you can call, do that. Because they can tell you what is going on in that particular area. I have had to do that before because I know it was raining a lot here in Louisiana at the time and I wanted to go camping in a certain area. So I did call and come to find out there was no way I could camp there. It was free camping, but there was no way I could camp there because of all the rain they had. It was flooded. All the, the whole campgrounds were all flooded. So, um, so, yeah, whenever you can get a phone number to call, call and find out what it's like there at that time because it could change from day to day. There's there's no positive way to know something totally unless you do a lot of research. Like I've also told you, whenever you want to go someplace and you look at, say, freecamping.net, go look at the reviews, go look at the dates. I've already told you that, but it... it it's well to repeat it because the dates can make a lot of difference as to what the situation is there at the time. And most of the time, they'll also give you a phone number to call. And that 
will help a lot. So just wanted to add a little bit more to what I was saying earlier. And uh, just want to thank you all. Thank you for being there for me. And um, peace. Love one another. Love thyself. Hugs. Oops, that was a bumblebee. <laughs> Whoa, he hit my van hard. Hope he's okay. And peace. <laughs>